Pseudoscience, what is it, how to spot it, and why to avoid it? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I explore the fascinating world of science and debunk some of the myths and misconceptions that surround it. Today, I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic, pseudoscience. What is pseudoscience, how can you spot it, and why is it important to be aware of it? Let's find out. Pseudoscience is a term that describes any belief system or practice that claims to be scientific, but does not follow the scientific method or provide any evidence to support its claims. Pseudoscience often uses scientific jargon or appeals to authority to make itself sound more credible, but it actually lacks any logical reasoning or empirical testing. Pseudoscience can be harmful because it can mislead people into believing false or unproven claims, waste their time and money, or even endanger their health and well-being. Some examples of pseudoscience are Acupuncture This is an ancient healing practice from China that involves inserting thin needles into specific points on the body to stimulate the flow of qi, or life energy. Acupuncture is said to treat various diseases and disorders by restoring the balance of qi, but there is no scientific evidence that qi or the meridians that carry it exist. Astrology This is the pseudoscience of predicting the future based on the position of the stars and planets at the time of a person's birth. Astrology claims that the celestial bodies can influence a person's personality and destiny, but there is no scientific basis for this assumption. Chiropractic This is a field of alternative medicine that focuses on manipulating the spine to correct subluxations, or misalignments, that are said to cause various health problems. Chiropractors claim that they can treat a wide range of conditions by adjusting the spine, but there is no evidence that subluxations exist or that spinal manipulation has any effect beyond placebo. How can you tell if something is pseudoscience or not? Here are some signs to look out for. It makes extraordinary claims without extraordinary evidence. Pseudoscience often promises miraculous results or solutions that are too good to be true, but does not provide any solid proof or data to back them up. It does not follow the scientific method. Pseudoscience does not use systematic observation, experimentation, or peer review to test its hypotheses. It often relies on anecdotes, testimonials, or personal experiences instead of objective facts. It does not change or update its theories in light of new evidence. Pseudoscience is dogmatic and resistant to criticism or falsification. It ignores or rejects any information that contradicts its beliefs, and accuses anyone who challenges it of being biased or conspiring against it. It uses vague or ambiguous language. Pseudoscience often uses terms that are undefined, unclear, or have multiple meanings. This makes it difficult to understand what it is actually saying or to evaluate its claims logically. It appeals to emotion or authority. Pseudoscience often tries to persuade people by appealing to their feelings, fears, hopes, or desires, rather than their reason. It also invokes the names or credentials of experts or celebrities who endorse it, without providing any evidence of their expertise or relevance. Why is it important to be aware of pseudoscience and avoid falling for it? Here are some reasons. It can waste your time and money. Pseudoscience can lure you into spending your resources on products or services that do not work as advertised or have no real value. You could end up wasting your time and money on something that does not help you achieve your goals or solve your problems. It can harm your health and well-being. Pseudoscience can expose you to risks or side effects that are not disclosed or properly studied. You could end up harming yourself by using untested or unsafe treatments, avoiding proven therapies, or delaying seeking professional help. It can hinder your learning and critical thinking. Pseudoscience can fill your mind with false or misleading information that prevents you from acquiring accurate and reliable knowledge. You could end up believing things that are not true, rejecting things that are true, or being unable to distinguish between them. So, how can you protect yourself from pseudoscience and promote science literacy? Here are some tips. Be curious and skeptical. Always ask questions and seek evidence before accepting any claim as true. Do not take anything at face value or rely on intuition alone. Be open-minded but not gullible. Do your research and check your sources. Always verify the information you receive from different sources and compare them for consistency and credibility. Do not trust everything you read online or hear from others without checking their qualifications and references. Think critically and logically. Always analyze the arguments and evidence presented for any claim and look for flaws or gaps in them. Do not fall for logical fallacies or rhetorical tricks that distort the truth or manipulate your emotions. Learn from science and scientists. Always seek to learn more about the natural world and how it works from scientific sources and methods. 
Do not confuse science with pseudoscience or mistake opinion for fact. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about pseudoscience and science. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.